In this video, I wanna to touch on everything going on with Facebook, all the different changes going on with tracking, targeting, advertising, what it means for advertisers, what it means for consumers, and some solutions and action steps you can take right now to just help with all this stuff going on. So just a quick background if you don't know me, um, I run a really successful advertising agency, help a lot of different businesses make a lot of money, help a lot of people, and make a really big impact, um, just help grow their income, impact, and influence um, at its core. And so I, I work with a lot of different people across a lot of different advertising platforms, <clears throat> and Facebook is one of those big advertising platforms that I use. So when I heard about this stuff, um, that Apple is really gonna limit Facebook's tracking ability, Sure, I got a little bit worried, but I always knew that with every problem, there's an equal and bigger opportunity right around the corner that you can use to help solve the problem and give an opportunity to a lot of people. So with that being said, let me just kind of break down what's going on and what it means and all that good stuff. So pretty much Apple announced and, and Facebook has announced that with the mandatory rollout of iOS 14, it'll provide an opt-in like prompt for users on each app to be able to choose whether to allow third party, third party sites such as Facebook and other social media sites to track their user data. User data can mean things like conversions, website visitors slash tracking, which can affect interest targeting and a few other things. Along with this tracking change, other changes that are likely coming or attribution windows that are gonna be changed, which means your ROAS will decrease overall, and only eight optimization events will be allowed, such as purchases, initiate checkouts, add to cart, leads, etc. So, <clears throat> just with that alone, just kind of making it real simple, I'm gonna put an image on the screen right now that just pretty much shows what's gonna happen when users sign in to go and open Facebook or other social media sites. This little pop-up's gonna show up, you can allow them to track or not track, and that's pretty much it. So what does that mean for advertisers? So what it means for, ad or let me switch up. What does that mean for consumers? I'm gonna start with that first. So what this means for consumers is that if you say, no, I don't want Facebook to track what's going on here, if that happens, if you choose that option, what that means is that you're not gonna get relevant ads. You're still gonna see ads, you're still gonna be advertised to, and that's all gonna happen just as normal. You're not gonna stop getting advertised to, you're just not gonna see relevant ads based on your interests, based on what pages you interact with, what videos you watch, and all that good stuff. So you're not gonna be targeted there. Um, that's the main thing for consumers, and then I guess your data won't be tracked as you know hardcore, but regardless, you're still gonna be tracked to a certain extent. For advertisers, what this means is it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to attribute sales to a certain customer. It's gonna be a little bit harder to target people. And just really your tracking is gonna be messed up across the board because you're not gonna have as many conversion, um, ability. you're not gonna be able to track as many conversions across the board. And it's really gonna hinder advertisers. And there's a few things with this that I wanna to touch on. So first of all, I, personally for me, I'd say that if your advertising, if your advertisements are good, I mean, you're gonna hold up. You're just gonna need to tweak your targeting a little bit. You're gonna need to change your message angle and make sure that your advertisements are actually providing value because if they're providing value, you're gonna be able to reach those right people, right? You just need to be providing value. That's very, very important. Um, I, I don't know what exactly this is gonna look like, how drastically everything's gonna be decreased, but I think the big hit is gonna be with retargeting and then tracking. Your tracking is gonna be really, really off. You're not gonna know who to target and how because you can't track anything. However, I have a solution to this that I wanna offer to you guys and show you why if you're good at this and if you're a good advertiser, specifically this video is more for business owners, more for advertisers. If you're good at this and if you know how to adapt, you're gonna have a huge opportunity on your hands and I wanna go through a couple of the action steps that I'd really recommend you to take. First things first. Verify your domain with Facebook. I'm gonna put uh, that link below in the description. Also set up a conversion API on Facebook. It's gonna help with your tracking, your targeting, and all that good stuff. Verifying your domain is just gonna make you, know, you seem as a more safer, reliable source on Facebook. Finally, I haven't heard anyone really talk about this. Get a tracking software that actually tracks things correctly and gives you the proper data um, that you can assess and then take action based on that data. I recommend Wicked Reports. I've been using Wicked Reports for the past few months and it's really helped me and my clients properly attribute data, properly attribute, okay, what audiences resulted in X amount of sales, clicks, so on and so forth. 
use Wicked Reports because Wicked Reports is not going to be affected by what's what Apple's doing to Facebook because Wicked Reports is direct tracking, first party, totally legal and compliant across the board. And if you want to use Wicked Reports, if you want to get more information on it, I'm going to leave links to that as well as all the other information that I've been talking about. I'll leave a ton of articles um, in the description so you can look more into it. I just wanted to give my brief thoughts. Overall, if you know what you're doing and you can adapt, you're going to end up out. You're going to end up being on top of everyone else because this is scaring a lot of people. And I'm not trying to downplay it because it definitely is something crazy that can affect a lot of businesses. It can affect a lot of people. And you know, at the end of the day. You know, if you don't want relevant ads, you're still going to be advertised to. You're just going to see stuff that is not relevant to you. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really think that's a big deal. For some people it is, but I definitely don't want to downplay it. But there's definitely solutions to this. And I want you guys to all see the opportunity that lies in this, you know, in, in these circumstances right now. And Wicked Reports is that big opportunity. Just one of them. If you just nail your advertisements, nail your message angle you're giving actual value that's the thing if you give true value you're gonna have repeat customers you're gonna get referrals and your business will grow through Facebook ads and advertising in general if you do it right but the big thing for me just that just flashed right in front of my face right when I heard this is oh I have this software wicked reports is it gonna help I went and did some research talked to some of the owners at wicked reports and it totally does they have a lot of changes that are coming out that are gonna help with this kind of a thing and if you want to get on wicked reports um, I'm affiliated with them. I'm a, I'm a Wicked Reports partner. So if you want to get a thousand bucks off, just use my code. I'll put it in the description as the first thing. Use it. You'll waive your setup fee. You just got to pay their monthly thing, which I think is totally worth it, especially if you're a big advertiser on Facebook. Use Wicked Reports. It's going to help you track. It's going to help you, you know, just across the board, keep your advertisements one step ahead of everyone else's. So I just wanted to make this quick video and just kind of give you guys my thoughts on this um, and just so you can hear what I think about it. I'm probably going to make some follow-up videos on this um, as I'm sure everyone else will also, but I'm going to make some follow-up videos on this, give you guys some more information and my thoughts as I start to hear and see and experience more for myself. But as of right now, those are my thoughts. Yes, it's a big deal. No, you shouldn't be panicking about it just because it's a big deal because if you can learn how to adapt, if you can learn how to take this problem that's arising and turn it into an opportunity you're going to end up on top every single time you can't really control it um it's been the story with of all advertising you know you can't control it what, what changes happen what updates are made you just kind of got to roll with the punches if you adapt correctly take this problem turn it into an opportunity you're going to end out on top just give give value to people that's a big thing too. give value to people and if that happens you'll be in a really good shape so that being said once again, check out Wicked Reports below. If you want to use my code, use it and you'll get some money off and it'll help support me as well. Um, so use that, check out Wicked Reports, do your research, don't panic, but don't just throw this in the trash bin and ignore it either. Um, just make sure you're providing value to the market and make sure you can adapt, do your research and take action. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below or shoot me a message on Instagram and we'll talk soon. Peace.